have a feeling the red glossy lips is not going to end well for me today. I don't know if it was a good choice, I'll be honest. <laughs> Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Kiriel and if you are a regular visitor of this channel then you know I love all things sparkly, all things metallic, all things highlighty and today is no different. <laughs> today I have a little bit more skin on show because we are going to be glossing up the body, okay? One of my favourite things to do to really like pop off a outfit is put a little bit of body highlight on. It just adds that little bit of extra pizzazz to your overall appearance, especially if you go and you know that extra mile with like your outfit and stuff. So as soon as I saw this product launching, I knew I was gonna have to get it and try it and see if it was gonna be suitable for pale skin. I do currently have a little bit of fake tan on. It is pretty faded. Like, as you can see, my wrist to hand ratio <laughs> is pretty, it's pretty faded, but it is slightly there. So we're gonna see if it would be suitable for me when I'm paler, because if it doesn't suit me now, then it's not gonna suit me then. But yeah, today we are going to be discussing the Huda Beauty Nymph or Not Your Mother's Pantyhose <laughs> All Over Body Highlighter. I got the shade Luna, which is supposed to be a white gold shimmer with hints of rose gold and silver in it. And it's supposed to be perfect for lighter skin tones. She does also have two other shades, which obviously go deeper. It claims to make your skin feel smooth and hydrated. It's water-based and also supposed to be water-resistant and also transfer-resistant. So it does sound like an ideal product for the body because, you know, you don't want that stuff coming off in your clothes or anything like that. So I'm really intrigued. It looks very pretty in the bottle. So I'm just going to take it out of this packaging. And this is what it looks like. I really like the bottle one. It is very aesthetically pleasing in the, like, acrylic. And it is plastic, so you don't really have to worry about it breaking or smashing, which is good. In the UK, this is available on Cult Beauty, Selfridges, and I got mine off Feel Unique. And this product retails for £40. Oh my gosh. Am I insane? Probably. So yeah, this baby is £40 and we will see if it is worth it. However, quick little tip. I got mine off Feel Unique and they often do vouchers. If you can get yourself a 20% off voucher, girl, you're saving yourself £8. So try and get a little bit of discount on the websites. See if you can get cash back. Just just do everything you can to save your coin if you want to buy this thing because there is ways you can get money off, which is what I did. It was 40 pounds. <sighs> but let's not lie, Huda Beauty is generally a pricier brand, so it's kind of on brand for her to be that expensive, if you know what I mean. Anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling now. Let's get into the actual product and see how it looks on my skin. So I decided to wear a strappy top to make it easier for application and with these kind of products I would usually use a kind of like buffer brush. It's like bigger so it's going to be good for like the shoulder area. So this is the Real Techniques foundation like brush. I can't remember what they were called but it's just very dense and it's kind of like the artiste vibe brushes but I ain't that bougie and I ain't spending that amount of money on a brush. I am just going to remove a strap just because I don't want it getting all over it, okay, when it's wet, so. Um, hmm, maybe I should clip my hair back so it doesn't go in my hair. Okay, now I look like an egghead. I know she did bring a brush out with this product, but I'm not buying another brush for my body highlight, okay, when I've got, like, a brush like this. It was more of, like, a kabuki-style long brush, which was more form-fitting, I guess, for the body, but I'm just gonna be using my own. <laughs> I am just going to take this and pump it on my shoulder, I guess. I'm not sure how much I'm gonna need. I'm not sure how quickly this is gonna dry down. I'm just gonna put like a little pump and do it Rihanna style, you know? Do I, ha do I have to get on my side and do it like this? I'm just gonna put it like here. Oh, that's probably a lot. I'm just gonna rub it in to the skin with my brush. Hmm. It seems to need a little bit of a buffing motion. Whoa, okay. Mmm, smells really good. I'm trying to see if you can like see where it starts and finishes because you know with this kind of stuff you kind of want like a seamless blend. You don't want an obvious start and finish. But it does seem to be blending into the skin quite nicely and also the shade does seem to be blending into my skin quite well. I feel like there may be a little bit of a cast. When I'm at my very palest, I don't know if this would work for my skin tone, but that did blend out pretty easily with my brush. I'm gonna try a little bit more on my decollete. Just gonna put two pumps there. We'll need a mirror for this. 
Okay, you can see it a little bit more there. It is a little bit dark. This is gonna like bronze up the skin as well. It does make the skin look really good though. Compare and contrast. This is the before, like no sheen. And then this is like the after, girl. It does smell really good. Also, this doesn't seem to be shimmery. So it is giving that more like metallic sheen because that's what I was worried about. I was worried it being very like glitter, like, oh, hey, I'm here. I'm sparkling. No, this is like, hey, I'm here. I'm shining. I'm here to blind you with my healthiness in my body. Kind of a glow. <laughs> Even the dimensions, do you know what I mean? This side of my body looks flat, looks meh. But then this side, you can like see my like collarbone peeking through, my shoulders beaming you. When I go like this, boring, glam, boring, glam. I'm gonna put a little bit more on my, on my boob. <laughs> Let's take a little bit of effort to blend. I'm not gonna lie, it does have a little bit of a stickage to it. I need to use a little bit of elbow grease. And also it is kind of sinking into my brush a little, which is a little bit annoying. I just came up a little bit. So you can see a little bit more, but before, after. This has now been on my skin for like a few minutes. I've really buffed it in. And good thing is, is I can't feel anything. Like I don't feel like I have anything on my body, which is good because you don't really want to feel like you've got body makeup on, if you know what I mean. You don't want to feel like sticky or anything like that. And this doesn't actually feel sticky. I do just want to feel it though, because I don't know whether it's going to transfer or anything like that. So I guess I'm just going to touch my chest <laughs> okay it feels like not sticky just kind of like residuey oh dang okay i um transfer resisted who uh, what trans do you mean transfer in country because that would uh like what okay so this is definitely transferring onto my hand, like 100%. There is a lot of sheen on my hand there. The good thing is, is it doesn't really feel sticky, but it does really transfer. Maybe it needs to dry down a little bit longer. I don't know. It does look beautiful though. Let's not lie. I'm not scared to bring my top back up, but I need to. <laughs> I'm gonna quickly go do my other shoulder off camera and then we'll be right back and we'll discuss a few details about this product and what I think on it and whether I'm gonna be using it or not. So I'll be right back and I'll see you guys in a second. Whew. I am glow Ing. Glowing to the gods. Um, <laughs> so I just finished up my other shoulder off camera. Well, actually, I did an Instagram video. So keep your eyes out if you want to see me being my extra self. Follow me on Instagram, at Kirialara. Uh, same way it is on YouTube. Okay, so let's talk about a few things about this product. Now, we can't deny that it works, okay? Because look at my body. When the light hits it, whew, my body is literally beaming and glowing and this is such <laughs> such a nice glow to the skin. It's like that metallic sheen that you want from a kind of body highlight. It's just got that healthy glow skin but it's not glittery at all. It, it looks good. Okay, I love the way that this looks. It is a tad dark and it's not really gonna work for my very porcelain girls out there. It may not work for me when I'm at my fullest palest self. But for me right now with like the teeniest bit of tan that I've got on, I can get away with it. I do feel like it's bronzed up my tan and kind of evened me out a little bit because it has that kind of base to it. But damn, I love the way that it does make my skin look. I do just look healthy and bronze and just, ooh, it looks so good. It is quite fragranced as Huda Beauty's products tend to be. I don't personally know that myself because I haven't tried the concealer or foundation, but that's what I hear a lot about and people go on about her base products. So this does have quite a fragrance to it. It is pleasant. It smells kind of vanilla-y. <laughs> I look like I'm trying to smell my boob. I'm not, okay? I'm just trying to I'm trying to inhale the, the, the scent of this. Could you do without the fragrance? Yes, it's not needed in a product. I don't know if it's gonna dull down a lot, but it has kind of mellowed out, but it's still definitely an aroma coming from my body. Personally, I don't mind, but if you don't like scented things, then you may not like it, just saying. It's not transfer proof, but it doesn't claim to be. It claims to be transfer resistant, as in it's gonna try and not transfer, but it may. <laughs> That's what that pretty much means. So when I put my hand on it, it does transfer. Bear in mind, this is kind of like a fresh application. I've just done buffing it into my skin. But when you touch it and stuff, it doesn't seem to patch off. Like it still has the sheen there. On the skin, it looks more a lot more of that metallic sheen than in the bottle. Because you can kind of see the glittery-ness of it in here. 
that is one annoying thing the lid doesn't like to stay on so yeah it comes off a lot more metallic but that might be because of the way that I buffed it in like I really buffed it into my skin with my Real Techniques brush because I wanted to make sure that it wasn't streaky which is another thing it does take a little bit of effort to blend but as you do blend it it gets easier because I find when you first put it on it looks like it's gonna be patched up and you're like oh no oh no oh no oh, yeah but once you've got kind of past that stage, it does blend out very nicely on the skin and I don't have any streaks or anything considering that this was slightly darker than my skin tone it has worked out really well because girl you would see it if there were streaks on my skin okay you would definitely be able to see <laughs> but there isn't so I'm glad now that I've left this for a little bit and it's kind of completely dried down I do just want to do another transfer test okay just make sure my hand is completely clean there we go there's no sheen to my hand apart from my natural skin <laughs> now let's test the waters out a bit let's touch my body touch my body na, 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 na. Na, 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 na. Na, 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 touch my body. Bit of Mariah Carey for you there. <laughs> and it still does transfer a little bit. So this isn't completely transfer proof. As I said, it's transfer resistant, which means that they couldn't say it was transfer proof. <laughs> so it's probably going to come off on your clothes. It's probably not going to stay put. But if you want a product like this to stay put on your body, use a setting spray. If you're gonna go for the effort of putting this all over your skin, and you wanna keep it that kind of way. I would personally go for something like Urban Decay All Nighter or Skindinavia with like a natural finish. Or you could go for a dewy finish. I guess but you just don't want to get a matte setting spray because otherwise that may dull down the shine obviously I know that you shouldn't have to buy another product or use another product to make sure that this one stays but it's just the nature of the product and it's gonna come off as you move as you express yourself as you you know brush up on clothes people whatever you're doing in your spare time I don't judge you okay <laughs> but if you want to prolong the benefits of having some glowy glossy looking skin then use something like a setting spray that should help you <laughs> one thing that I do have to say that kind of like puts me off this product is the price tag like why why you gotta be 40 pounds i mean it's a liquid illuminator which you know you get your face highlight illuminators it's pretty much the same like let's not lie <laughs> i could use my iconic london drops for this i could use my premark drops for this and they are a fraction of the price would they look the same the iconic london ones yeah they probably would <laughs> but again they are still 30 pounds uh so i guess 10 more pound and you get more mil anyway the point i'm trying to make is there are cheaper things on the market that would do a similar thing i feel like if this was more like the 26 pound mark maybe it would be better but then that is pretty much half the price the day-to-day -day person isn't going to be using this a lot but if you want to lux out and you want to you know spend some cash on something that's going to make you feel good because i'm not going to lie it makes me feel like a little bit extra, like a little bit just, I don't know, glam and like made up just that little bit more than I am currently in my pajama bottoms. <laughs> but it just gives that something extra that you may want. You may want to feel like, oh, I'm glowing. Like I'm just feel like, like I want to do the salsa. I don't know what's wrong with me right now. Okay. If you want to splurge and you want to get a nice body item that is going to make you feel like a glowing goddess, then this, I would say, is going to be right up your alley. I would love to see a lighter version of this so more people can try it who are pale like myself. I will probably be using this a lot around the summer months. But yeah, that's my little review on this. I really just wanted to try this on camera and show you guys what it looks like on my paler complexion. Let me know in the comments down below whether you would consider buying this because it is a pricey product. Do you think it's excessive or is it something that you think you need in your life? Please let me know down below. Also, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a thumbs up so I know. And if you're new and you enjoy this kind of content, then please subscribe to the channel. All you have to do is hit the little red button down below and I'll be happy to have you. I can't believe we just hit 350 people here. Like, hi. That is crazy. Can't imagine that many people wanting to know anything about me. <laughs> but yeah, that is it from me, guys. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world. And I hope to see you on the next one. Till then. Bye, guys. I love those. I love the. the uh, <laughs> I get a dog. So you. She does also have two other shades. She does also. <laughs> also, if you're in. Also, you <laughs> and if you're new and you enjoy, <laughs> I can't believe we just hit. I can't believe we just hit. Through. <laughs> Damn, use some, use some genie stuff, okay? Like, what is this? Am I still recording? Oh God, alive. <laughs>